Good morning, everybody. I hope you didn't miss us too much last week. It's been a little tumultuous around here these days. But we're back. We're making breakfast today. Again, it's our power breakfast. And um, it's vegetables, it's whole grain, it's protein, it's eggs, it's greens, and it's flavor. Uh, that's the basic format. Uh, today, I'm working with one wing down because I broke a burner. So, for any of me, I can break anything. That's been my story of my life. So, um, I'm really good at breaking stuff. So, if you want me to fix something for you, uh, call somebody else. Yes. It's really that simple. <laughs> We've got black rice. I've just got it cooked in the um, rice cooker. Uh, There's enough for the next three, four days. I don't know for the three of us to eat today. Uh, black rice is a beautiful product. Uh, it used to be called forbidden rice because it was supposedly only for the emperor of China and nobody else in his immediate circle. You know how, you know. Royalty has its privileges. But now it's just black pearl rice. This is a really high nutrition rice too. Very easy to cook, just you can put it in a rice cooker. Usually if I use a rice cooker though, I will tell you this, I don't follow the instructions there as much. I usually add more liquid because it takes longer to cook and there's there's more, uh, more evaporation. So I adjust a little bit from the recipe here, which is like one and three quarters to one for 30 to 35 minutes. Obviously the results of that, if you do it in a rice cooker, you got little rock pebbles in there. Uh, if you do it on the stove, you got to be real careful and make sure the temperature is nice and low. All right, I've got some Boulder sausage links, and um, it's time to get started. So I'm going to crank up, and because I do have a, I'm down a burner. Um, I've been preheating my pan a little bit. We're going to use avocado oil today. I'm going to use up this carafe, and we're going to cook three sausages per person because these are pretty good these are decent sized sausages and you don't necessarily need a lot of this uh, normally if I was in the restaurant industry uh, four would be what's on the plate but I'm not in the restaurant business anymore so I can eat as much or as little as I want let's get started cutting up I'm gonna take my cauliflower first I've got another pan that's starting to heat up to do my veggie medley and I'm gonna be uh, a little conscientious about this I really want to just take off the very outer leaves. Now we're going to compost those. I actually have a compost bowl started um, to preserve all this. You could actually, if you wanted, you could just slice this stuff up really thin and eat it too. Um, there's no harm in that, that's for sure. Um, but you know, people freak out when they see the leaves of the cauliflower instead of the florets. And of course, what we do is shave it all up. So it looks quick. This is orange cauliflower, so that's going to add to our rainbow, which is one of the big themes of this anyway. Okay, I've, oh, I got a little bit of leaf in there, that's fine. No harm done. And that's going to be enough for three people. So this will take the longest to cook, so I want to get this in the pan right away. It's still a dense, cruciferous vegetable. Cruciferous, I like that word. Because there's a cross on the top. It falls into a class of vegetables. If you want some of the more scientific uh, information about that, don't ask me. I always thought it was a weird title anyway. Cruciferous. And here we go. Zucchini. Enough for three. my compost target bowl over there. Let's see if I can hit everything in the bowl on the first row today without having to uh, you know, pick it up off the counter or off the floor. Kind of like one of those little baskets, you know, people in their office, they have a little mini basketball. Yeah. We're kind of green today. I do have a green bell pepper. It's obviously time to go to the store and start thinking about buying some fresh stuff for life in general. But this is my main meal. I tend to have smaller dinners. I tend to uh, sometimes just have light snack for dinner, not much food at all, um, because this meal really carries me through the day. And if you're not sure about that, just remember to read the shirt. Yeah, chef's always right. Okay. And remember rule number two. When the chef is wrong, refer back to rule number one. Hey, we used to say about my mentor, he's the chef even when he's just wearing a swimming suit. Because we'd go to a ball game. We'd go to a baseball game. Henry was the chef. 
It was uh, it was that severe. I mean, we just we always thought of him as chef, no matter where we were, or what we're doing, or how drunk we were. <laughs> always the chef. And his name was Henri. So if you called him Henry, he'd go, "Oh, Henry is a candy bar. I am the chef." Yes, chef. The pepper grinder I was telling you and Andy, you, you, oh, I was telling Mike yeah. and Andy about this. This thing's 20 years old. It's it's say, it's really still old. rocks. And Mike's like, oh, my pepper grinder is better. No, this thing, it's <laughs> like a Timex, no matter what you do. It, it takes a licking, but it keeps on ticking. Turmeric, of course. All right. We're in good shape. Everything's cooking. Let's start flipping our sausages. The rice is already hot, so we don't have to worry about that. A nice golden brown. Let's take about four or five more minutes to get fully cooked. And their veggies. We're going to be doing scrambled eggs today because I just don't have my other burner. It's broke. I, it's my fault, like I said. I take full responsibility. What did you do to it? Uh, I think I leaned on the knob. Mm. That's all it takes. I've done it before. I could blame somebody else, but there's nobody else around to blame. So that's going to make it tough, too. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. One time my cleaning woman leaned on it. Oh, no. So I did have somebody else to blame, but that was years ago. And she's just not around to be blamed anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> you know, the first motto of the kitchen, if you can blame somebody else for what went wrong, do it. Then the chef will yell at them and not you. <laughs> so again, this is harissa. This is a um, Middle Eastern chili paste. Uh, it comes in mild and hot. Uh, we've talked about this before. Red bell pepper is the main ingredient, a little red chili pepper, garlic, extra virgin olive oil, a little vinegar, salt. Sounds like a salad. Let's see. Oil, vinegar, vegetables. Oh, it's a salad. <laughs> yeah, this is basically Middle Eastern salsa. Um, the reason I make a big deal is that if you start to connect the dots between the difference between the regional cuisine and the technique, you'll see the techniques underlie all the cooking in the world. Mm -hmm. So that's a salad, that's a salsa, that's a vinaigrette, that's a fill in the blank. And regions from all over the world do the same thing. They mix vegetables and seasonings with oil and vinegar. Or as Chef Andy loves to say, SPA, which means stop pussy putting around. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Salt, pepper, acid. <laughs> All right, let's get a bowl and start cracking some eggs. Veggies are almost done because they're thinly sliced. And then the great debate, do eggshells go in compost? As far as I know, they do. We had a team building event, and one of the, one of the participants said, are you supposed to compost eggshells? And the other person said, of course, and that's what I learned about you. You don't even know that you can compost eggshells. I always assumed you could. I assumed you could too. They're a natural occurring substance that breaks down. So yeah. compost them. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Let's get these sausages finished up. They've got a nice golden brown. Get the third side going. And we'll just cook them until they're firm to the touch. Jody's happy because in the news today, Chris Collinsworth said the most interesting team to watch in the NFL this fall is the Chicago Bears. Yo. Yeah, because their new young quarterback, 
they're a new young, they're a relatively new coach. Oh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. And some good talent. So fingers crossed for all you uh, Bears, fans. Bears fans who haven't had any love since 1986, 87? 85? Oh, was it? No, it was 86 they won, 85 was the season. Yeah, but it's 85 season. All right, be that way to see yeah. if I care. Come on, the shuffle, hey, everything, I, everything. I won, I won 200 bucks on that Super Bowl. It's good to... Yeah, I did. I won 200 bucks on the uh, 1987 Super Bowl. I was seven. Because I had three. I had no numbers, money involved. My numbers were three and three. <laughs> and the end of the first uh, quarter, the score was 13 to three, and the end of the second quarter was 23 to three. I was at a pizza, my friend's pizza restaurant. As soon as the quarter ended, he handed me a hundred bucks. Then as soon as the half ended, he handed me another hundred bucks. <laughs> and then, you know, in the 80s, a couple hundred bucks was like, it felt like real money. Yep. So, these are just about done. They're just getting springy. Let's get some stuff cooked. This is going to help. This particular Power Greens blend has some shredded carrot in it. The good news is the carrots are so small, they work pretty well in with everything else. So that you, we'll have a tiny bit of crunch in our meal, but not a ton. And now that's just going to wilt. This gives me a chance to rip up my eggs a little bit. And Jody, remind me to serve the rice, because typically when it's just sitting in the I rice can cooker, do I forget all about it, because it's not making any noise. It's not on the stove sizzling or anything like that. So it tends to just go right out of my head. Hey, this is kind of a light meal today, Dan. Oh yeah, I forgot the rice. Those sausages are done. We're ready to rock and roll here. So what I want to do is I want to hit my green with a little harissa. Got a little cholula in the eggs. That'll help wilt that down too. Get down! Get down, Greens! I literally just looking for them to get down into the spread of the vegetable and get that little bit of wilt in them. That's it. I don't want to cook those greens, I just want to wilt them. Oh my god, look at all those veggies today. What a rainbow. We're going to be so healthy, we're going to glow today. Okay, and these are done. Nice and firm. All right, because we are down a burner, we have to think outside the box just a little bit here. So, black rice. Really delicious, too. I love this stuff. It's got a great flavor to it. It's a just looks straight so good out. Yep. Oh no, chef, don't make me eat all those vegetables. Well, that's my favorite part. Yep, mine too. I know, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did make a lot of veggies today. Um, those power greens don't break down as much as some of the other ones we use, so because of the carrots. So yeah, It's one of my I favorite guess. mixes, though. Yeah, it really is a nice mix. I love carrots. Um, show them the cover of the box, Jody, if you want to. Go. So... That's that's simple truth, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a Safeway product. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can set the land speed record for the fastest scrambled eggs on the planet. Nice big skillet should make it happen fast. Yes, I have scrambled eggs for 1500 No, I don't want to do it again. Jeez. Giant paddle. We put cream cheese in the scrambled eggs to mm -hmm. keep them creamy. Mm. So it was like, you know, I don't know, 50 pounds of cream cheese for 1500 <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I was like, okay, we've done that. That's great. That was really fun doing it. Do I want to do it? No, I don't want to do that again. 
I just want to be able to say that I did it once and then move on with the rest of my life. All right, guys, this is obviously an easier meal for one, but how often do you just cook for yourself? Is it nice to be able to put food together for your family to get things going? Short period of time. Again, my goal is always 15 minutes or less. And that is the stated goal of this meal that I've been making for myself for the last five years uh, to power myself through the day. And as always with scrambled eggs, just take the shine off. No, not the world's fastest scrambled eggs because my burner just isn't that big, huge. There we go. Okay, there's the shine disappearing. We're ready to go. We're going right in. Today, we'll just split the difference between the veggies. Because not always. I put it right on top of my veggies as a rule. Um, but, you know, I also have guests today, so <laughs> I want to just be a little more color. Besides, that makes a nice delineation. That's a big plate, but believe it or not, we ain't going to have any leftovers today because we're hungry and we want this to work. So we're all set. Boulder breakfast sausages purchased at Costco. Lundberg's black pearl rice just cooked in chicken stock. Nice medley of veggie, veggies with power greens and harissa and some simply scrambled eggs ready to go. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll, back, we'll be back next week, and then we're going to be taking a little hiatus for about a month and we'll be getting back in the saddle. So take care and stay healthy. Bye-bye.